Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models and welcome to another advanced inbox review. This is going to be of Airfix's 172nd scale Cortez P40B Warhawk. I uh, thought I'd try out a few of these nice little cheap 172nd scale kits just to kind of, because I haven't really, I don't really do them that much. I normally do a lot of 148, so um, just trying a couple of these out. Just let me know in the comments below if you want to see more. Now, with this Warhawk, it is a really sort of cheap kit. I mean, in the Genesis Model Store, it's six pounds 64 you know really not going to break the bank it should be nice quick and easy right so let's just open this up now this one was reboxed in 2020 the plastic inside here is uh, 2011 when it was uh, new tooled right so as you can see you know all in one packet just here i'd assume the canopy is in a separate bag which it is so not really much going on because it is only one seven second scale but let's take a look all right so first off what we're going to see is you know airfix it you know it does have that really nice sharp crisp recess panel lines you can see how sharp and crisp they are but for the scale those recess panel lines are looking a little bit too big kind of typical but still you know looking quite good we've got some mg uh, the mgs just sticking out here as well probably be careful not to break them out they look quite sort of um, brittle and easy to break off we do have a nice little pilot just here which um, you know just about make out the eyes mouth nose i mean he's maybe looking a little bit flat maybe but i mean you know it, the details you know pretty much all there we have a seat here, not much detail, but it is 172nd scale. Bit of an engine cowl and some MGs by the looks of it on there as well. You know, look, not looking too bad. We do have some um, exhaust just here, which actually do have some nice little, looks like nice little holes. Maybe not, that's a bit of flash actually, but you know, drill a little holes in there, make that look that little bit better better little bit of detail just inside on the wheel for the, so the wheel wells just a little bit of rib work nothing to write home about the fuselage all right the fuselage does have again that same level of detail does have some nice let's focus you in does have some nice rivet work just on here as well again all very very crisp indeed actually i mean not looking too bad the surface detail just apart from being a bit out of scale um, on the opposite side yes we do have um, a nice bit of detail just inside here there is two ejector pin marks but they do seem to be out of the way so it shouldn't be a problem another bit of detail just inside on the opposite side uh, we do have our wheels and all propellers and all these kind of stuff i'm just looking for um, any kind of eject pin marks in nasty places no I'm not seeing any sort of major flash right um, there's our wheels just a little bit of detail it is 172nd scale remember so um, <clears throat> we're not going to see major major detail but all looking pretty pretty good then we have our canopy which hopefully airfix hasn't messed up um, but hopefully as you could see first look you know looks nice crystal clear all right if i just put it up to the light see if we can find any of these cobweb effects and no we don't actually looking pretty damn good so let's move over just quickly to the instructions which should be nice and quick I do have a little micro camera that I want to try out a bit on the on the actual decals. Just something I'm messing about with. Typical Airfix instructions, bit of a description, bit of colour, nice plain paper. Um, very sort of typical World War II type build. Looks like you put your two fuselage halves together. Not really much going on, I don't think, in the cockpit area straight away. You know, not showing that. Kind of brings a lot of the wing, two wing section halves together and the wings to the fuselage. Um, landing gear looks to be up or down. Um, and then it is pretty much a quick, simple case of like putting the pilot. I mean, where is the detail for 
the cockpit. Um, that is quite strange. I mean, I'm looking at this. I did see a seat in there, but I'm kind of struggling to see the seat being put in here. Well, that's kind of strange, but either way, we are going to build this because it's an advanced in-box review. We're going to find out what's going on with that cockpit, but it doesn't look like there's much detail at all going on with it. But we'll work it out and find out. But it looks like a pretty quick, easy build. So here's the decals now. I'm just playing around with a little micro camera I brought just to see if it's any good. But hopefully what you can see here is zoomed right in onto some tiny, tiny little writing on there. And just to sort of show you how you can really sort of see the actual writing that's going on in there. So just to kind of bring you out to the big camera now, um, this is what we have. All right, this is the decals. They're looking really, really good. Bit glossy. Um, colors look nice, nicely in registry. Um, we have our dials here, um, you know, them looking okay. These were the little sort of yellow writing we saw earlier on the actual micro camera, which, as you can see, really sort of hard to sort of see, but you can actually pick up that writing when you get it under a micro camera. So really, really nice with the decals as well. So with our first fit issue with our advanced inbox review here, well, f first off, just a quick one is, this is where the cockpit is. This is where I got confused because the cockpit actually kind of fits just on here on the wing section instead of sort of normally in the fuselage. But anyway, the first fit issue we have is um, when we bring the fuselage and the wings together, which what you're gonna see is some pretty sort of huge gaps going on here, all right, both sides. What we also kind of do see is there's a little bit of a step as well where it then sort of goes onto the fuselage section. Um, this was down to, there was a bit of flash, if we can get you to focus, there's a bit of flash on these two points just here and here that kind of made it step up quite a bit so i've cleaned that off and it's made it better um but we don't really you can't really sort of like glue these wing sections down flat if i press that down you know i, I did have it glued down flat and you can sort of see that little step that's kind of just stepping up there right so you kind of in a way sort of I've just glued these wings so I'm just sort of oozing it back out to kind of bring it to the same level to remove that step right so you've got to be careful in doing that right you don't want to be having pegs pressing that down and then creating a step right you kind of want to sort of not have it all the way and then you remove the step right that's how you sort of get around it nice bit of gappage going on there to sort out right and then by kind of doing that the the gap is sort of disappearing here but that's going to require some filler basically it's uh, to, to a bit of a bit of filler at uh, to some degree so um that's sort of a bit of a fit issue it's kind of you know don't sort of rush it like I've kind of rushed building this together, sort of, you know, test fit everything, make sure it's gonna fit and, um, you know, don't squash the, the wings down, like I said, with, with pegs in this area, because it's gonna create a step. So just as a quick one, just to show you how I got around that. Um, nice peg, sort of applying pressure in the middle, right, to, to squeeze that fuselage and wing section together, but in the middle. Right, um, and then I've got like a nice piece of Tamiya masking tape, right, and what that does is it takes the wings and it just lifts them up like that, right, just lifts them up like that, and what that does is it closes the gap. You can sort of see how that gap, it was quite big, has now closed it. I mean, it's not completely gone, but it's removed a fair bit of the gap by just having that nice bit of pressure, just lifting the wings up a little bit and it closes the gap nicely, ish. So there she is, all nice and built. As you can see, there, there was that just one little sort of, sort of a bit of a fit issue with the fuselage and the wing section, no big deal. Um, but let's have a closer look because there's a little bit of filling that potentially needs to be done on this kit. I mean, the whole engine cowl section, as you can see, a little bit of gappage 
um, this bit of a bottom engine cowl, um, the top part of the engine cowl. I mean, that was a bit of a you got you know you got to sort of squeeze it down with some pegs or something but maybe some sorry a bit off camera maybe some fit in there canopy does look like it has sealed in all around quite nicely with no gappage um, as you can see the wings still a little bit of gaps going on there the wings seem to be a nice sort of you know gap free fit but maybe sort of at the back a slight bit maybe at the back I mean you probably really don't notice it but when some paints on there you probably notice it a little bit more um, but apart from that actually not too bad not too shabby at all does sit nicely on all threes looks quite good the propeller because of the top um, engine cowl and stuff it does you you do you know I did get a little bit of glue on there which does sort of like lock it into place I mean it's just the way um, they get you to construct it um, there is like a little bit of a back plate at the back of this propeller here that sort of um, sort of locks it in place and then you can spin it um, maybe sort of leave that off and then you can just kind of put it on on off at will and um, kind of up to you you'll see when you do the, do the instructions but all in all I mean for something that's six pounds 64 you know nice quick easy cheap kit maybe a little bit of filler that one little fit issue but really nothing really to grumble about nice little warhawk in 170 seconds scale so apart from that um, hopefully you've enjoyed this advanced inbox review so until the next one my name is bob waldron this is genesis models and i hope you've enjoyed